So, under Elections Canada bylines, under Elections Canada statute, you are not allowed in any method whatsoever to request proof of exemption if he claims a medical exemption. Do you deny that or no? We, as Elections Canada, did not deny him a right to vote. He was denied access into a Windsor property, which has a mandate that says you must wear a mask. Absolutely not. Abs at, at this point, if they have claimed they are, in fact, a, an Elections Canada polling station under the, uh, under the federal statute, as you can see very clearly. So let, me, let me ask you a question. Does that give him the right to come back here and harass some of the other electors that are coming in? Define harassment. By Define harassment. talking them. Talking to them? Yeah. Telling them that well, what happened and, and that we shouldn't be voting. No, no, no. They shouldn't, he shouldn't be voting. What does that mean? And why did he call me a fascist? Yeah, okay. Yeah. In this case, I don't agree. Pardon? I do not know what you could have done. I was not here. And I have witnesses to say that he called me a fascist. In oh, this case, did, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Yeah. did you deny him? Did he vote? Did you deny him? Did he vote? Did you deny him? Oh, you're him? Uh, I have a paper right here. Why don't you call the cops and let the cops tell us we're doing something illegal here? Whoa, sir, watch Can that social distancing. Try it. Can we do the cops over here? Let's get the cops here. I would here. like you to read. I'm going to read from this to you I don't right care now. what you do. What you do? Copy that off the internet? Where'd you get that? Mickey Mouse? Election Canada. Election Canada. Election Canada. Election Canada. Election Canada. Hey guys, you, you can't come in. I'm sorry. If you want to go to the election office at Green Valley Plaza, but we can't deal with this anymore here. Of course we can't. You can't. Nonsense. That's it. I am defending a voter right now. I am requesting. I am requesting your R. Without covering my face, sir. Without covering my face. This is who is your R.O. This is ridiculous. Freaking Nazi Canada. Here we go. Sponsored by BASF. The Green Valley Plaza where the dirt is. How far is that? I'm afraid I'm not that familiar with the East Tecumseh Road, just into Tecumseh, where the um, uh, TMC Medical Center. Tecumseh, TMC, sorry. TMC uh, Medical Center. You know where that is? I'm afraid I don't. Uh, is this East End roughly right before? Right, so it's 13,300 Tecumseh Road. Green Valley Plaza. Right at, I think it's Manning and Tecumseh. Oh, it's Green Manning Valley. and Tecumseh. Yeah. And he's there. And Mark is he's there. He's there? Yeah. Okay, so, Mark. Um, his name is Mark. I don't know his last name, but Mark. And he is the, he's called the returning officer for Windsor. Coast. Yeah, I know what an RO is. So, yeah, okay. um, at this point, though, um, okay, you are Yvette? Yes, Yvette. Okay. Well, at this point, just understand that I'm going to just give you this. This is the simple, simple thing I can do to you. Yep. Right now, this is from, this is directly from Elections Canada. Okay. And it says, proof of medical exemption is not required in any polling okay, station okay. except in Alberta schools. Okay. Do you want me to hand that into the election scanner? Great. I suggest you hand it into for among everything else that should move in there. This is unacceptable. Okay, I understand. You have denied I, a man. I do understand your protest, but, but this is not a protest. This is this okay. is rights. Yeah. Regardless of everything. For every person that is like him, yeah. who will protest, yeah. however many however many people you turn away, mm -hmm. this is an abrogation of your responsibilities. Okay. This must be abided by. This is it's imperative. Yeah. I had to pull my shirt it up is over imperative. my face to get a voting ballot today. Are you kidding what me? What if he was a woman? Would you have you would not have done that? But and I'm I understand. I'm not going to keep on the surface, please. You guys go see Mark. He's at the disgusting office. Mark disgusting. at at, at the uh, TMZ center, right? Well, it's right past the TMZ. It's the Green Valley Plaza. Green Valley Plaza? Yes, Green Valley Plaza. I would, I'm, I'm requesting Park. something for, for you right now. If you could do this, please. Let him know we are going because I am going right now. Okay, I will. We'll call him right now. And, and this is, on the way. Yep. Okay, great. But yeah, please yeah, take, take it. Please take both of these. These are from Elections Canada. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank you.
Okay, my name's Mark Moore. Ari, yep. I'm in the Green. It's the Green Valley Plaza. It's a pl it's a strip mall. Yep. Okay. Yep. We're right in the middle of it. Thanks. Sorry. Uh, may I? My sorry. Uh, may I ask if that is about me? I called the police. Yeah, because uh, there was a melee at. Melee. Uh, well, that's what it was described as me to me. But anyway, let's just tell me tell me why, tell me why you're here. I'm here right now on behalf of uh, a massive something individual who was brought to my attention. Okay. Um, as far as I have been told, earlier today he was told uh, that he cannot vote at this particular location. Okay. And uh, at that, this location? No, sorry, at the WFCU. Yep. Uh, this has been a pattern I've heard all throughout. I guess, I guess roughly Windsor Essex. I've heard everything from uh, Bell River to here. Uh, I okay. am a very, um, I am a scrutineer. I just don't know where I'm going to be assigned. Uh, this is a little for one tentative. of the parties, you mean? Yeah, for PBC. Well, can I can I tell you what the policy really is for masking? I can tell you what it is for Elections Canada. Uh, well, I, I know I know what it is for Elections Canada. You and may. I know I know I'm the returning officer, so I directed all of our poll workers okay. in the following way. Okay, I want to know these, if you have a printout of the source of that, I'd be really appreciative, or if you could direct me to that. It was verbal by me. I sit in the classrooms and I and I talk about this with every one of our... And okay. let, let me just finish, okay? I'm going to tell you what, what the all deal right. is. No, I'm not being... Um... No, you're fine. Um, what we tell them, this is the poll workers. If someone comes in and wants to vote without a mask, yes. we ask them to wear a mask, yeah. we offer them a mask, yes. And then we allow them to come in and vote. This is a, this is hundred percent in line. Except for the city of Windsor, who have I rent from them. I rent the space from them, and they demand that we not allow anybody in without a mask. That's their requirement. So we put a sign on the win on the windows. I don't know if you saw that, but we put a sign on all mm -hmm. of the just the city of Windsor facility, which the WFCU is. Yeah. For instance, if you came in here and wanted to vote, you could vote without a mask. It's just the city facilities. Okay, so they're so. adamant with, I'm telling you what they told me. Thank you for calling the City of Windsor. If you know the extension of the person you are trying to reach. Council Services, this is Terry. Hi, Terry. Um, so uh, yesterday I was told by several um, ORs, at, or by an OR and several elections officials, that a bylaw had supposedly been passed negating mask exemptions at elections offices. Do you know anything about this at all? Um, so we, so the municipality of Windsor deals with the municipal election, so I'm assuming your question is to deal with the federal election, the voting state that's taking place right now, and whether or not, so are you, um, so that masks just, are not, sorry? Uh, sorry, yeah, I'm just relaying what I, what I was told, because I don't, this is exactly what you actually just said, um, Basically, if what we were told uh, is that a bylaw, and they, maybe these people don't understand what a bylaw is. So that's why I'm trying to get the bottom of this. Yeah, the city of Windsor has not passed a bylaw negating the, the like, uh, as far as I know, you have to, I voted last night. Uh, yeah. I voted in Tecumseh at, at an advanced poll, but you needed to wear a mask. Like, there was no ifs, ands, or buts. Even my children were with me, and they were, they always yeah. wear their masks, but they were required to wear a mask. So the city of Windsor has not passed a bylaw requiring that masks are not required in the poll. I think if you had a medical exemption, then that I don't have one, so I wouldn't know, but I, I'm assuming that yeah. would be acceptable, like any other place that you would enter. Well, um, that's, um, that's actually what I was, uh, that's what apparently quite a few people were told, if they had a mask exemption, and they still like a medical one. They were still were not allowed on the like to vote. And actually, I have some video on this. So this is yeah. I mean, for, <laughs> this is this is basically corroborating what I thought too. Um, okay. I, I and again, I don't know that uh, anything to do with the federal election is um, yeah. unique and independent from the city of Windsor. So I would reach out to um, federal election officials or maybe your even your um, MP member of uh, Parliament to yeah. kind of see. But I haven't heard anything of that. I would just to me, I would just assume if you have the mask exemption, you can show the. You don't even have to show proof. Um, at least. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, totally. I know to get into our municipal facilities, if you have a mask exemption, all you have to say is, you know, I have a medical exemption or whatever it might be, and then okay, and you go, right? Yeah, um, and, and, yeah, and that's that's that, that's the law. Um, but yeah, like apparently, like just like I'm just I'm just relate this to you, maybe if you if you hear anything, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like they were told that in the municipality of Windsor itself, this applied, but other places it didn't. Like that, it made no, absolutely no sense to me. 
but this is apparently being relayed to several election officers. <laughs> so I'm trying um, to get the bottom of this. No, uh, I've heard nothing of it, and that was not my. I mean, yeah. I didn't. I, I wore my mask in last night yeah. happily. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. The poll wasn't busy, so I didn't witness anything. But no, as far as I know, the the municipality of Windsor has not passed a bylaw that um, you know you have to wear your mask or an exemption yeah. isn't accepted. I'd reach out to your member of parliament or the local uh, federal elections office just to see. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, th- thank you very much. Yeah. This okay. Is, yeah. This sorry, I wasn't a more help, but yeah, no, definitely <laughs> concerning. If you know. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Hello, and thank you for calling the Windsor Essex County Health Unit. Inspection Lane speaking. Hi there. Uh, Hello. I'm not sure, hi. Um, I'm not sure if I have exactly the uh, right um, area for the health unit, but uh, yesterday at several polling stations. Uh, we uh, many people who have mask exemptions, like medical ones, were told they could not vote at these stations due to either a bylaw or health order. Do you know anything about this? Oh, for for your voting? Yeah, like uh, like uh, many oh. advanced polls, including including yeah. one that I outright posted a sign. They were directing people to Tecumseh to vote, like a uh, like the main office. And I was wondering if you knew anything about any kind of order being made like this. I haven't heard of anything. I don't know if City of Windsor has done anything. Let's um, take a look at our website. One yeah. moment. Yeah. Because yeah, like there still should be medical exemptions if you can't wear a mask. Yeah, and this is on Elections Canada, too, but several several stations, uh, including the, oh, like the OR, Outright said either the city of Windsor passed a bylaw, which I called, and they said they did not, or a health order. And I'm like, I don't think either of these things happened. No. Um, any reference to masks um, and face coverings in this letter of instruction is as per Province of Ontario COVID-19 mm-hmm. regulatory framework requirements. Um, you know, uh, no. That's, you should be able to still get in wearing a mask. Or, sorry, with a medical exemption. Do you have a written medical exemption? Uh, you, you, you don't actually need one, but I know but I know at least one person did present one, and that wasn't good enough. So, but, yeah, that's... Um. So, so, like, yeah, as long... So, if I've got to confirm now, as far as you know, there's been no health order either. And not... No, and... <sighs> And I believe that there was the law been, <laughs> anyway. No, there hasn't been one. Yeah. You know, not because there's always been medical exemptions. As long as you, you know what I mean, you shouldn't have to prove it, but you, if you have it, it's even better. But you said someone was turned away with a medical exemption? Mm-hmm. This is a problem. Yeah, um, um, many people actually. Let me get actually. your name. Let me get your name and information. And this is regarding... Um, it's, 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 I guess, just people being told, <laughs> people being turned away at polling stations on the basis of some possibly non-existent health order. Hmm. People. Oh, okay. Let me. I'll speak to my manager, and if necessary, he'll probably speak to. He'll have to go up the ladder yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. People turned away from voting stations, and they're not allowing you to even vote outside. No. Uh, nothing. Um. There was uh, one incident. Uh, There's a uh, incident. All, okay, my phone. I think my phone's dying. Um, a incident in the mall. A woman was told she cannot vote because of a a bylaw being passed on the tenth, and no such bylaw was made. And then they said they, it's coming from the health unit. The bylaw, like it's it's like nonsense, right? Like these these are two different things. But many polling stations, including one that outright posted a sign saying this. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um. I'm going to have to look into this. I yeah. I don't. Thank you. Very um, much. Because we have, if you have access to our, you have access to a computer on yeah. our website. If you go to our home page, um, yeah, I'm, we, right, I'm there right our now. Medical yeah. Op- yeah, our medical officer of health on the home page. If you scroll down a little bit, letter of instruction. Mm-hmm. Letter of instruction is that? Yes. And yes. then that's it. All it states is use a non-medical mask when physical distancing is not possible. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to, you know what I mean, but yeah, still, yeah, people yeah. who yeah. had medical exemptions from not wearing a mask, 
you're not supposed I, like in my opinion uh, now I'm giving my opinion well, sure. I guess I'm not supposed to do that but hey this is your voting right yeah no, this <laughs> okay. is yeah and this is yeah, pretty so now it's getting you. yeah mm-hmm. Right. So let me um, check into. My name's Elaine. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> Hi. I'm an inspector on the. I'm on the intake desk this afternoon. So let me um, look into this and see if I if there's anything else I can provide you any further information. Yeah. Because they're not letting you in based on you saying that you have a medical exemption. Yeah. Like in actually quite a few people I've received many reports, including. I went to the OR in Tecumseh, and he was t- apparently told this outright. Like, this is... Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I will let you go, and uh, if you get any, m- any more information, uh, please give me a call back. Okay, I will. Thanks, Derek. Thanks All right, so let's, hopefully we can help you there. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Hi there. Hi, it's Elaine calling back from the health unit. Hi. Okay, Derek. Okay. Did you go on, uh, I'm on Election Canada's web- website. Yep. And, uh, yeah, okay. they, they even claim that mask exemptions are honored with uh, medical reasons. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, and like, as I said, like, um, this is, from what the OR told me, this is specific ordinances from the city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know this. It, it would be for if anything, it would be for their employees to be vaccinated, not for yes. medical mask medical mask exemptions. Um, you might want to call into Election Canada yeah, because that's, it's that's, federal. I yeah. think that's probably the route you should go because yeah, if you've already called the bylaw. Because yeah. I'm looking at this medical exemption right or the mask um, yeah. people. Will people, will people be turned away for not wearing a mask? Yep, I, I printed this out and physically gave it to these people. So yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Right. So yeah, I guess. So yeah, I guess at this so point. So you I'm have to let them know about the polling stations in Windsor because this is going to be federal. Yep. All right. I think I just will go down that route. Thank you. Yeah, you've got their number. Yep. Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right, Derek. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. You're All welcome. Right. Take care. Thanks. Bye bye. Hello, bonjour, Elections Canada. Elaine speaking. Hi there, Elaine. Um, so yesterday I spoke to uh, Mark Moore um, about a policy that, uh, um, regarding mask exemptions and like medical mask exemptions in ma- many polling stations in Windsor. Um, and supposedly they are being told there's some kind of bylaw where they are not allowing mask exemptions. Do you know anything about this? Uh, not me. It wouldn't be me, but I'll have to connect you with Mark. Okay, no problem. Okay. Elections Canada, Mark Moore speaking. Hi, Mark. Uh, this is actually uh, Derek from last night. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Derek. Good. Yeah, not too bad. Um, I'm actually just seeking clarification on what you told me yesterday uh, regarding some kind of bylaw or whatever uh, regarding mask exemptions and medical mask exemptions. Yeah, I don't know if it's a bylaw or not, but it's just a requirement of the of the sites that we use. We rent them for elections, obviously, mm-hmm. for the, from the city of Windsor. So all their community centers, um, and that's for both my riding and for Windsor West. Yeah, they require they they require that we not allow anyone in with a mask. That's that's without the, a mask, and even even when they claim mask exemptions, eh? Correct. Yeah, it's, there's no there's no exceptions. That's what the city has told us. Yes. Do you have a contact for the person who says this by any chance, or anyone? I I I don't. I w- I would call the um, oh, what do they call it? The parks and is it Parks and Rec that manage the um facilities? I just can't. I just can't remember. Do you, do you have access to the internet? I do. Yeah, just go to their website. It, all the people there are public, you know, are public. I just do these permits through the through you know through the internet, so I don't really have a contact there. Yeah, okay. Just yeah, so the, it, just the facilities people, like the manager at each location, that sort of thing. But that's it. Okay, yeah, it's like Parks and Recreation, like Windsor. Does that sound that sound great? Yep, yep. That's I think that's what I think that's who manage them. But you could just type in the name of any. Um, just go to Google and type in the name like Gino Marcus Community Center, and you'll it'll take you right there. I see. Okay, thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. All right, bye. Bye. 
Welcome to the City of Windsor Administration Office for Parks, Recreation, and Culture. We are located at 2450 McDougall Street. Our office hours are from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. A mask is mandatory to enter our facility and appointments are strongly encouraged. If you know the extension of the person you wish to reach, Good afternoon, Parks Recreation Jenny speaking. How can I help you? Hi there, Jenny. Um, I'm calling regarding some incidences, uh, um, incidents yesterday regarding um, the refusal to honor mask exemptions at polling stations. Do you know anything about this? No, we would not. Um, because I have gotten uh, apparently guidance from the OR that this, that this policy came directly from Parks and Rec Windsor. Okay. Um... Let me put you on hold and see if I can get somebody to answer that question. So it's a, a, they have to wear their mask, correct? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, a, even if they're claiming a, claiming medical exemption, this is in contravention of Elections Canada. So we're trying to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, I just talked to the supervisor for that. She has said that we are just following the uh, guidelines from the federal and provincial levels. Um, so this is apparently not true because um, there are, like, I've even seen signs and have and spoken to the OR it, themselves. Um, can I speak to the supervisor? Is okay. that okay? Are you, uh, like, a voter and you're just... Um, I'm a voter, and I've had I suffered, I had uh, quite a few friends yesterday be turned away from the polls and get be directed to to a location in Tecumseh. So right now, um, if Parks and Rec is saying do not allow people in without masks, no matter what, even in presence of uh, medical exemptions, that's in contravention of Elections Canada. Okay, just a moment, please. Yeah. Not speaking. Can I help you? Hi there. Um, I'm, I'm calling regarding um, a, basically a policy supposedly uh, enacted from Parks and Rec to deny mask exemptions at polling places. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I, would, I spoke to the OR, and this is apparently who it came like it came from the Parks and Rec um, service. Okay. So the elections, federal elections, they signed a permit. Um, with uh, the City of Windsor, the Corporation of the City of Windsor, and that they would abide by the regulations set by the provincial and local Board of Health guidelines. Mm -hmm. And, and um, all these guidelines allow for medical mask exemptions. Sure, they do. Yeah. Okay, so multiple polling stations, including the OR himself, has claimed that Parks and Rec has said do not honor mask exemptions under any circumstances, including medical. No, that's not true. Medical exemptions are allowed. So right now, it is looking like there was there has been some type of major messaging issue between Parks and Rec and the uh, elections office. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm. I'm. Was there a problem? Did you go and vote? And there was um, an issue. I'm not sure. Yes, and that many of my friends as well um, were actually outright turned away and told to go to the Tecumseh office rather than at their their own advanced polling station. Yeah. So no, certainly the the um, contract that they signed, the permit that they signed, it says right in it. I can pull it up actually. It says that they were just to follow the guidelines set out by the. Um, provincial and local officials based on regulations. So if there was a medical exemption, um, yeah, you know. yeah, they're still there. Yeah, that is that yeah. is in there. Yeah, I'm a, so yeah. at this point it appears that the elections office is not understanding something. Yeah, so, so that would uh, be with them. I'm sorry. Like, well, I've gotten yeah. this clarification now. Yeah, so that's been good. Yeah, uh, if there's a medical exemption. I mean, we you know are same with our buildings. Yep. Like our community center is even mm. city hall. Like it's we we follow just whatever the guidelines are. Yeah, sure. The Ontario regulations or the whatever state today there is more regulations. We're combing through them again right now, and <laughs> we're just trying to follow whatever someone tells us to do. We follow. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So they are supposed to follow the Elections Canada. So yeah. yeah. So and like there is like 
right in and it says so whatever that statement is i mean of course the expectation is that everyone wears a mask if there is a medical exemption that is yeah, yeah that is you know allowed um i mean everyone's supposed to go through the covid screener prior mm-hmm. to walking in um yeah so. yeah like there were at least eight incidences yesterday and they are all and uh yeah. yeah, the OR is passing the buck to the parks and rec stations. So now I've got to probably call Elections Canada. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Well, I'm the buck, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank Have you. a great day. Take care. Take Bye care. now. Bye.